853. Well, it's a problem so many of us have this time of year. What to do with your pumpkins and gourds after Halloween? So joining us today is local blogger Emily Kennedy to tell us well, how to turn a pumpkin into a candle. What a good idea. Good morning to you. Good morning. Nice to meet you. How did you even get this idea? In the um, you know, I, just, I spend a lot of time looking around on Pinterest. Oh, and yeah. Blogs mm -hmm. to get ideas. So saw this idea. thought it would be a perfect thing to share um, with the viewers today, especially day after Halloween. Everybody's got a lot of leftover pumpkins. Absolutely. So we, instead of letting it go to waste, yeah. you can get creative with it. You're going to learn how to cut one. So go ahead, Dan Wells. Don't cut yourself down. I know, don't because you, have, you got battle scars. I did. I did. Right? I saw through my finger a couple times yesterday. Okay. So what, so what you you're going to do, um, this works great for votive candles or for um, little tea light candles. So um, first you want to take your candle and kind of trace it on top of your pumpkin there. And then um, I used a double serrated grapefruit knife, worked really well, to actually cut out around the stem. Oh, so you're going to be impressed. <laughs> you're not even, you need to said, put this on, you got to follow direction. You can put this on top and cut around it. All right, I'm doing my okay. thing. Okay, it'll, it'll work out fine. So once you get it cut out, okay. Um, then, you know, you've got kind of all the insides of the pumpkin. So I don't want to scoop those out. Yeah. And I've actually found that... Um, Using the handle of a spoon works really nicely, especially yeah, if you've got yeah. kind of a wide-handled spoon. Um, you can kind of get in there That's and really, really get those seeds and all of that pulp out, so you're okay. going to want to have a bowl on hand so, um, so okay. that you can... Go ahead, them. keep talking. I'm That's gonna good. Mm -hmm. my... You're doing a good job. <laughs> okay. So then from there, so then from there, um, once you've scooped it out, you're probably going to need to take your knife and keep kind of trimming just so that you can make Around. sure that your candle it's actually fits in. Mm -hmm. So. I like that you brought all different sizes of pumpkins yeah. because you get, if you get a bigger candle, you can right. get a bigger pumpkin. Absolutely. How long do you think it'll last? That's, um, that's the question. I would think, I mean, it's kind of similar, I guess, to carving a jack-o'-lantern, mm -hmm. so um, it might last um, a few days to a few weeks. Um, I think if you're going to have them in the sun, then they probably won't last as long, so maybe keep them right. you don't outside want to the spot or... Yeah. They what, what I like too, did you do it? Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How cool. I like yeah. that. And it probably smells really good yeah. too. You know what I mean? afterwards and kind of have them last and make them something else. I like that a lot. Thank you so much. Awesome. Let folks know uh, how they can find you, your blog. So uh, my blog is twopurplecouches.com. Um, I blog about home decorating ideas, mm -hmm. um, simple projects and crafts and things like that. So um, it's really kind of my outlet for inspiration and finding new ways to put kind of my stamp on my home. I love it. Yeah. Really inventive idea. We're going to put, again, the directions of how you can do this at home. Not too hard. Not too hard at all. Yeah, in a minute and a half. I if I can do it, anybody can do it. Trust Absolutely. Me. All right. We have so much more. Thank you so much, Emily, for coming up.